As our uh, ushers are preparing to receive this morning's offering, uh, if you were here, if you're a first-timer here today, uh, you've never seen that uh, video before, but if you were here with us at the beginning of the year as we presented our 2015 budget with uh, uh, the vision of what we believe, we celebrated all that God had done for us in the past, but what we thought God could do through us, if uh, those of us who are members here at Cottonwood took a step uh, to give 1% 1 more uh, of our income, move from zero to one, or five to six percent or seven to eight percent whatever it was what God could do and you embrace that and so what I wanted to do is take today uh, as an opportunity to kind of give you a celebration our stewardship team which is a group of our uh, lay men and women that gather together and they oversee the finances of the church and as our giving has increased uh, the decisions are being made uh, almost weekly now uh, to, uh, to to fulfill one of our visions one of our heartbeats for 2000 2015 here at Cottonwood. And so let me give you a couple of those. One you've already heard of. Uh, every year we host what is called a fall festival. Thousands of people from our community uh, will come to um, uh, our campus on that Halloween night, that fall for our fall festival with all the inflatables and all the food and everything together. That is not an inexpensive event. But we've always wanted to do it and we've chosen to charge uh, for our people to come. And it's worth it and people love it. But we've also thought how much more ministry could we do if fall festival is free but because of your embracing the one percent challenge uh, we I was able to share with you a couple of weeks ago that fall festival this year is going to be free so give God a hand for that uh, you'll see that that means that as you're in the neighborhood or at school or wherever you are at work, you can just invite your friends, invite those you work with, say, hey, come to our church fall festival. Everything out there is going to be absolutely free. And so you be sure and take advantage of that. But I also want to celebrate that and say thanks for embracing the 1% challenge. Here's the second thing that God, because of your giving, that God has done for us uh, as a church. You know that we've embraced Baltimore as uh, a place to go and plant plant churches in inner city Baltimore. We kind of started going to Baltimore when no one else really wanted to go to Baltimore, and that is a great thing. Here's what's happened. In just the last 12 months, there have been 25 new church plants in the city of Baltimore. Give God a hand on that. If you go back over the last 25 years, there haven't been 25 churches planted in inner city Baltimore in the last 25 years or so. Now here's the problem. The problem is, is that now that everybody's buying in, they're beginning to come, they're seeing God move, more and more churches are buying in as we call and we talk and we build a coalition of churches uh, to be concerned. If you don't remember, if you haven't been here, 90% of the people in inner city Baltimore are totally unchurched. Right there in 90% of the, of the city, the, uh, those that live in the inner city are unchurched, but other churches are buying in, other people are buying in, and so what we have done is we've made a contribution as a church to build a facility that will house all the church planters and all the churches that are coming to Baltimore uh, as they do ministry. So give God a hand for that as you're creating that opportunity. But then there's a third one I get to announce to you today, which is really exciting for us. As many churches have, have gone away from Vacation Bible School, we've chosen as a church, we're not going to do it. As, many, as a matter of fact, we, uh, we, if you want to put it this way, we've said we want to make it better. We want to make our, our Vacation Bible School better. But like Fall Festival and like whatever we do on mission, it, it's not free. It's not cheap uh, to put on an event like that. So over the last couple of years, uh, to try to keep our quality up uh, and keep the crafts coming, we have said, hey, uh, just to come and bring a couple of dollars, five dollars a kid, and that'll help pay for all the crafts and everything you're going to get and all the excitement. Well, we've always had some people, and our desire is we'd rather it be free, but it's just too costly because many of the kids that come to Vacation Bible School are not Cottonwood kids. They're not any, uh, they don't have any affiliation at all to any church around. But because of your giving, uh, the stewardship team has made a decision this year. We're going to fund all of Vacation Bible School out of our normal ongoing budget. So uh, that is a great thing. 
And that means you can invite your neighbors and your friends and your neighborhood kids, everybody, all because you have embraced as a church that 1% vision. And I want you to know I'm honored as your pastor to bring this news to you. And as they continue to look and God continues to bless, uh, we are looking for more and more ministry and so many of those things that you saw in that video, that 1% video, what we could do. I just believe as you continue to give that our stewardship team is going to say, well, let's do that one next and let's do that one next and let's do that one next. And that is a fantastic thing.